Welcome to our Middle School Mathematics Virtual Curriculum Fair. My name is Rebecca Cothran, and I am the Secondary Mathematics Instructional Coach for WJCC. Our Secondary Mathematics Coordinator is Mr. James Hayden. We will begin our Virtual Curriculum Fair by taking a look at the math courses available for middle school students. We will share with you the sequence in which these courses can be taken and the possible pathways and requirements for students who wish to accelerate through the curriculum. We will review important dates and information for the acceleration testing. And finally, we will provide you with helpful hints for supporting your child's math progress using our WJCC IXL math accounts. This is just an overview of the math courses available to our middle school students. In the next few slides, we will discuss each course in detail. All middle school students are required to take one math course a year. Our Pre-Algebra 6 course, also known as Math 6, will continue to build upon skills developed in the areas of whole numbers, decimals, and fractions from 5th grade math. Ratios, proportions, and integers will be introduced to students to begin making abstract connections in algebraic reasoning. Problem solving that applies to real-life situations is emphasized throughout the course and within each of the six content standards. Numbers and number sense, computation and estimation, measurement, geometry, probability, statistics, patterns, and functions with algebra. Manipulatives, calculators, and computers will be used where appropriate. Students are enrolled in this course will take the Math 6 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. In our Pre-Algebra 7 course, also known as Math 7, we will emphasize proportional reasoning and problem solving involving consumer applications. Properties of real numbers, solving linear equations and inequalities, and data analysis techniques will be studied. Problem solving that applies real life situations is emphasized throughout the course and within each of the six content standards, numbers and number sense, computation and estimation, measurement, geometry, probability, statistics and patterns, and functions in algebra. Manipulatives, calculators, and computers will be used where appropriate. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 7 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. In Pre-Algebra 8, also known as Math 8, students will refine skills introduced in Pre-Algebra 6 and 7 and be introduced to concepts and skills necessary for the Algebra 1 curriculum. Elements of the course include the language of algebra, formulas, solving equations and inequalities, probability and relations, functions and graphs. Problem solving that applies real life situations is emphasized throughout the course and within each of the six content standards. Numbers and number sense, computation and estimation, measurement, geometry, probability, statistics, patterns, and functions. Algebra manipulatives, calculators, and computers will be used where appropriate. Students enrolled in this course will take the Math 8 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring. The Algebra 1 course is a high school credit bearing course that will appear on the student's high school transcript. A strong foundation for academic mathematics is provided in this course. Students will use algebra and a graphing calculator as tools for representing and solving a variety of practical problems. This course will establish a working understanding of the terminology, notations, and symbolism of algebra. Topics include rational numbers, equations, inequalities, polynomials, factoring, rational expressions, 
graphing linear equations, systems of equations, and radical expressions. Students enrolled in this course will take the Algebra 1 Standards of Learning Assessment in the spring to earn their first high school verified credit. Geometry is a high school credit bearing course that will appear on the student's high school transcript. This course is designed for students who have successfully completed Algebra 1. The course includes the deductive axiomatic method of proof to justify theorems and tell whether conclusions are valid. Emphasis will be placed on two and three dimensional reasoning skills, coordinate, and transformational geometry, and the use of geometric models to solve problems. Students enrolled in this course will take the Geometry Standards of Learning assessment in the spring to earn a high school verified credit. The progression chart on this slide shows the sequence of our middle school courses. The pathway on the bottom of the diagram is the course sequence of our vision students. These students have been identified through the gifted identification process in elementary school to take an accelerated path, which combines Math 5 and Math 6 in their fifth grade year. This group of students will take Math 7 in the sixth grade, Algebra 1 in the seventh grade, and geometry in the eighth grade. The upper pathway in the diagram shows a typical progression for middle school math courses. There are, however, opportunities for students to accelerate in this pathway as well. Students meeting specific acceleration requirements and testing can be approved to skip over courses in the progression moving them through the middle school math content faster. Sixth grade students have the opportunity to accelerate to Math 8, their seventh grade year, and seventh grade students can accelerate to Algebra 1, their eighth grade year. On the next slide, we will review the requirements for these two acceleration opportunities. Sixth grade students who wish to accelerate to Math 8 must pass their Math 6 SOL with a score of 410 or higher to be eligible for acceleration. Beyond that, students must meet two of the three requirements on this list, meaning they must have a spring map score of 225 or higher, an 80% or higher grade in the Math 6 course or have a teacher recommendation. Seventh grade students who wish to accelerate to Algebra 1 must pass their Math 7 SOL with a score of 410 or higher to be eligible for acceleration. They must also meet two of the three requirements on this list of a spring map score of 229 or higher an 80% or higher in the Math 7 course, or a teacher recommendation. Additionally, students will need to take a Math 8 acceleration test to verify they are mathematically prepared for Algebra 1. There may be other special circumstances, such as a student who transfers in, where a parent, teacher, or counselor might consider acceleration for that student. This is still an option. The student's counselor will be able to guide parents and teachers through the acceleration request process and provide more information. This document provides a tentative acceleration testing calendar for the upcoming school year and provides important information for parents explaining the purpose of acceleration testing, the required steps to take, and a website where parents can access practice materials to help students prepare for the acceleration test. 
please see your child's school counselor to obtain a copy of this form. Mathematics is sequential, and each new concept that is taught builds upon students' prior knowledge. If a student struggles and does not master a concept, this may affect their future level of success and hinder their ability to master certain math concepts. WJCC has purchased IXL math accounts for all our secondary math students. This is an excellent resource that supports students' mathematical growth. Your child will receive a WJCC IXL math account in the sixth grade and will keep that same account throughout high school. Please contact your child's teacher for username and password information. There are no parent accounts, but you can log into your child's IXL account to see what IXL assignments their teacher has recommended for them. You can also click on the analytic, Analytics tab to see how they are performing on their assignments, the time they spend on each assignment, and the concepts they are struggling with. You can also receive certificates whenever your child reaches a milestone. This can be done by signing into your child's account, click on their profile icon, and enter your email address under the Profile and Settings section. You will notice that your child's teacher requires them to get a specific SMART score for their IXL assignments. The IXL SMART score is the best possible measure of how well your child understands a skill. It factors in question difficulty, answer accuracy, and consistency. IXL recommends students aim for an 80 SMART score or higher. However, your child's teacher will set their goal. IXL offers the same parent information handouts in Spanish. Please reach out to your child's teacher for documents such as these. IXL is currently in the process of translating all math content within its program into Spanish. Currently, they have all math grades 3 through 6 completely translated. This is a constant work in progress and we predict next year to have even more grade levels translated into Spanish. If your child needs language support and would benefit from having their IXL assignments in Spanish, please contact your child's teacher. Thank you very much for your attention. Please feel free to reach out to James Hayden or Rebecca Cothran with any further questions. Have a good night.